Hey guys, it's J Dog John Karstrom. Hey, a special hello to Michael Upchurch. Michael, that is an amazing tree. So, hope you enjoy the show. Hope you find something useful. So, welcome. Um, hey, I want it. We're, the temperatures are rising up. You can feel it. Can you feel it in your bones that you got to get into the dirt, or you're still just freezing, shivering, cold? <laughs> uh, well, I can tell you the temperatures will rise and it just rises so ever so steadily 40s and 50s and there will be a day when it's 60 degrees and we're gonna think gosh this is short sleeve shirt season and but what's strange about it is that in the fall when it turns 60 degrees we think gosh this is so cold so I don't get it that's what life's all about hey uh, right now so we're trying to get into the garden right and so I want to keep reminding you of a couple things to do right now that might be helpful if you have any kind of palm especially the windmill palm this is trachea carpus fortuni I want to show you a trick on pruning these guys take a look so what we have here uh, let me see if I can't find a better one actually take this one hold on a second let's take this guy so what we have here now this is just a small a small palm and I'll show you you see how uh, on some of these the palms are really quite weathered as a matter of fact when I take a look at it I can see this is from the last season might have dr dried out but what we tend to get is a lot of weather beating through the winter time now trachea carpus fortuni is that hardy windmill palm so it's the best palm for our area and they're great uh, for for containers or in the ground but what what you'll see is that what you'll general see, generally will see is that the beaten up guys are usually on the outside of the trunk so what we'll do is prune these guys back because these are the old uh, leaves and all the new growth is going to come from the center part right here so quite all right to prune these back with a nice sharp uh, a nice sharp pair of pruners and clean up your palm just like that now also you'll notice too. Let's see, I think I've got all of them that needed to be pruned here. So, also you'll notice that this tends to be a little more on that lime green side. It's a great time to give it some water soluble fertilizer. And, and, and let me give it, um, uh, let me stop for a moment about water soluble versus granular fertilizer. Granular is good. It's okay, and, and the nice thing about it, it's very easy. You drop some granular fertilizer around it's hopefully going to soak in with lots of rain and water down into the root zone that's the tough thing if it's on any kind of slope that water will run off and, you'll, and it won't soak into the root zone so i prefer the water soluble fertilizer i know it gets into the root zone because we water it right in and then it's taken up now palms won't take up any fertilizer for quite some time they they'll start putting on some growth late May and June when the temperatures really warm up so need not fertilize now but put it on your to-do list because they will need some fertilizer sooner or later anyway guys that is the show for the day hope you got something helpful uh, here is your quote to change one's life start immediately do it flamboyantly no exceptions Thank you very much, William James. James, guys, that's the show. Always live your passion. See me right out of the sunset on the color TV screen.